Ooh, the pitch bend sounds nice, though. What is that noise? Um. Oh my god, I'm so fucking all over the place. Okay, uh, I like these echo sounds, wavetables. Cool, let's try that. All right, so I've got my wavetable and I'm modulating the wavetable position with the LFO one here. Just a simple, I guess, triangle you'd call that. And then I'm gonna uh, modulate the FM a slight bit. I think just 10 on the modulation ring here um, from B. And I've got B's level turned all the way down. And it sounds like sh Turning off the FM for now. That's not bad. So I've turned the octave of uh, oscillator B down to match the uh, the octave of oscillator A. Uh, I'm sorry if you can hear that. I live downtown. That adds some nice harmonics. I don't mind that. Uh, and then we're just going to toss a high pass on there. Classic growls. Yeah. Uh, I'd like some more harmonics i'm gonna add a flange on there so i'm in the effects section now i'm gonna toss an extra filter on there a flange mi or flange minus i don't know i never called it flange like is it a flanger i don't think so i'm gonna go with flanger so yeah i don't know flanger i don't know i could be totally wrong i'm gonna continue saying the wrong thing though um the cool thing about this filter though is modulating the resonance is really handy. Uh, you can pair it with modulating the mix so it doesn't get too out of hand. So like sometimes I'll keep it at like 50% to 100 like that and then modulate the resonance. Woo! Might need a little less on the mix though. Maybe like 30 to 60. You just dial it in. If you're a new producer, that's my biggest tip to you today is I used to watch tutorial videos and like copy down exactly what percentages they were doing and stuff, which is like, it's good for learning, I guess, but just, just kind of ballpark it. And you'll probably come up with something cool. That's more unique to yourself. I'll turn it off so you can hear. Bam. Gives it some harmonics. I'm going to avoid hyper and dimension. It adds too much stereo and I don't really want to deal with that right now. But I am going to add some distortion. I'm going to use this distortion as a filter. You can actually modulate the frequency right here of the distortion filter. I'm going to set it to pre uh, and modulate. What is it? Bipolar? Bipolar? Yeah, it's kind of a bi... I don't know. Both ways. Oh, but I want a high pass. So I'm going to switch it to a high pass. Just gives it some extra bite on the, the vowel -y. Yeah. Um, chorus, I'm not going to do. I'm going to do a little vocally thing here. I did a video of this on my Instagram and YouTube, if you're interested, but I'm going to do a quick here too. Uh, basically, you modulate the frequencies of each band on the EQ, turn up the gain or down, depending on what you're doing, on each band, and you make it talk by going in. And then you find the perfect frequency for, for your growl. Bam! I'm gonna make this slower though. And then we're gonna pitch it down maybe. I'll just put a little loop there. 
Cool. Serum growl. Dime a dozen at this point. Um, but we could go a little nuts here. We could add some distortion and amplitude. I will use amp and a phaser. I'm just using Ableton plugins right now. Uh, so the Ableton phaser, I've got at 32% mix, uh, frequencies 206, feedback 0 0.67. But again, I will reiterate, none of these numbers matter because I'm just f***ing around. Um, I like the high-end edition. Um, and then... Um... Yeah. Actually, fuck this amp. What we're gonna use is trash because I want to trash my CPU. I'm sorry if you don't have this plugin, but I love it. Um, let's go multi-band and we'll do the mids. The trash is really sick. It's a multi-band distortion unit. Kind of like, um, like if you have fab filters, Saturn. Something like that. Um, but it's trash. Uh, it's isotope trash. Uh, and it's a multi band distortion unit, so you can distort it um, by frequency bands. Uh, and then they have like filter sections and a convolve se se the section where you can put like an amp and stuff. Um, I'll show you guys. Bam. So I just picking my like distortion form type, whatever. Uh, for my mid band, which is between 120 hertz and 2000 hertz, um, you can change it by doing this. I might even just do that. Ooh, um, I like that. It's just a bit much, so I'm gonna turn the mix down. got a nice little crunch to it uh and then i'm gonna pick my high end i think i'm gonna put some fuzz on it Ooh, the garage is nice and then the low end i usually don't f with but um we could try yeah it usually f it usually messes shit up i'm just gonna leave it um don't usually mess. I don't usually mess with this stuff, but we could. Yeah, I don't really like doing that in the plugin. I usually just toss an EQ afterwards or whatever. Um, but we can do convolve um, body. TV scoop sounds cool. And then I usually just turn the mix down. I really use this plugin as a distortion unit. I don't use most of the sh in here, to be honest. It's mostly just the trash. Um, and then the convolve. I turn the mix down and, and move on. It's always important to make sure you made something sound better, though. So on, off it. Off. Pretty nice. I think we're coming out much hotter than we're going in though. So let's even that out. Practice safe gain staging. I wonder if we can make it go like. Ooh. If we end it off higher. There we go. I like that. I might even like higher. Yeah. I don't like the E. I like, I don't mind it, but it's not. Ooh, the pitch bend sounds nice, though.
the wavetable's doing nothing. Ooh. 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 28%. Remember that, guys, because I'm going to fuck it up. That's pretty cool. I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, I'm going to unbigify this because it's a bit intense. Cool. I'm happy with that. I might even, I think I'm going to save that. <laughs> 